Hi guys and happy Saturday. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's getting cold here once again. So I thought we would make some beautiful comfort food, warm comfort food. And I also went to see the Record King today. Hung out with um, Craig, the Record King. I hung out with Elena. And I hung out with Ralphie and Rock and Bob. We had a really, really fun morning. Craig had some amazing things for me, put aside for me, and I'll share those with you later. But first, we're going to use the tagine for the first time. Now, what I did with this tagine was um, I soaked it. They tell you you need to soak it overnight in water, and if you can't fit it soaking, you can just turn this, you can invert this, fill it with water, fill this with water, leave it overnight, dry it, oil it, put it in a 300 oven for about two hours, then your uh, tagine is cured. So we're cured and ready to go, and what I thought I would make today is some stuffed and rolled um, cube steaks. Cube steaks, very inexpensive and uh, very fun. I'm going to put some potatoes and carrots in the bottom, and I'm going to cover it with a brown onion gravy. So I think it and then we'll cook it low and slow, the way you're supposed to in a tagine, because a tagine is a traditional slow cooker. So, very, very fun. So I'm going to start with is a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. Put a bit of olive oil in there. And we're going to start with the potatoes and carrots. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave these little potatoes whole because I, they're like the perfect size. So I'm going to leave them whole because they're going to cook low and slow. So let's just put those right in the bottom of the tagine. Then we're going to cut our carrots into some nice chunks as they go flying everywhere. Okay, put these right in also. So, yeah, it's real cold again. Tomorrow I have a plumber coming in the morning to do some work over here. And uh, that's the first of many repairs that have to be done here. And I'm not happy about it, but uh, you got to do what you got to do, right? So that's our carrots, and I can actually probably get away with another couple of carrots. Let me go get some. I got some more carrots. Um, do not preheat your oven with a tagine. These are things that I've learned. I did a lot of research before starting to cook in it. And you do not preheat your oven. You put the tagine in a cold oven and then turn your oven on and bring everything up to temperature together. So uh, that's how you avoid cracking your tagine. So all these beautiful veggies in the bottom. Did a new podcast last night, very interesting podcast. A Tink's Choice for a Rainy Friday. And uh, I'll put a link below for you. I also took you on a drive to Record King. And uh, I'll show that to you later when we do our finds. For now, we're going to work on this and get this done and in the oven because it's going to cook for four hours. So, all right, so that is our vegetables in the bottom. What I'm going to add to this is Moroccan uh, seasoning. You can use anything that you like, any kind of seasoning that you like on your veg. But I want to put Moroccan in this because it is a Moroccan tagine. So, I'm going to put some of that in there. Uh, some black pepper. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of salt. I don't need much. Don't need much salt because there's a little salt in the Moroccan. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of ghost chili. Ghost chili is going to be 
right here just a little bit. Very good. All right. I'm gonna hit that with a little bit more of the olive oil, just to drizzle. Just a little more olive oil on that. Okay. Now, we're gonna drain and rinse a can of garbanzo beans, which I'll do right now, and then we're gonna put those in there too. So we put our drained and rinsed chickpeas into the bottom of the tagine and uh, we removed all the skins that came off when we rinsed. You're going to take your cube steaks and pound them out thinner if you need to or want to. Just beautiful. They're already pounded for you. That's why they have these little marks in them. I already prepared my stuffing. This is a beautiful cornbread stuffing. Any stuffing that you like is fine. Sagey stuffing, a cornbread stuffing, any stuffing that you like. What we're going to do is take our prepared stuffing and put it on our cube steaks. Very, very yummy. Very nice. Put that on your cube steak. And then you're just going to roll it up like a brajol. Roll it up with your stuffing inside. How beautiful is that? And you're going to secure with a toothpick. And you're going to take your little rolled cube steak and place it right in the tagine. Okay? Beautiful stuff. So you keep going until all your cube steaks are stuffed. Just a beautiful little dish. And I found this um, stuffed cube steak recipe on a um, slow cooker um, Christmas website. And what they said was that these cube steaks, these stuffed cube steaks, um, are popular in Germany at Christmas. And they serve them with a uh, like a hunter gravy, uh, deep brown gravy with uh, mushrooms. So uh, I said, "Oh, I'm gonna make that one day for sure." And here we have it. Um, I thought this would make a really, really good um, something to make in the um, tagine because it looks so damn good, right? And we won't put our gravy on until about uh, 45 minutes to an hour before it's done. Because what, what I'll do is I will um, caramelize the onions in a saucepan and then I'll add uh, gravy, brown gravy to it. And we will uh, then pour it over. The stuff that's already cooking in the tagine. And for the last hour or so, it will thicken. Be really, really yummy. So here we go. Oh, this is them sealed. Toothpick helps a lot to hold them together. All in your tagine. This is a nice big base on the tagine. There's a little one. This one could be Vaji's. This could be for Vaji. Right, Vaj? You want a little steak for yourself? He could have a little steak for himself. I need another toothpick. Okay. Let's get the little steak rolled for Vaji. Hi, Vaj. And get stuffing and everything, too. A little tiny steak. A little Vaji sized piece. Hi, Vaj. Okay. Perfect. 
All right, now I got them all in the tagine, which I'll show you before we uh, before we put the lid on. All right, and there are our cube steak rolls in the bottom of our tagine on top of the beautiful vegetables that are already in there. I'm gonna salt and pepper these. Now, the, uh, the thing with tagines, they say, is that because the lid is so tall, um, it creates more liquid condensation, which drips down and cooks, steams and cooks your meat and everything in your tagine. So you don't need a lot of liquid, and that's why we're not adding our gravy until later. Um, it'll thicken after, but uh, as it cooks, but we don't need it in now because that won't really work. So there we have it. Let's put our lid on. I don't think there's anything else I want to put on there right now. Uh, I can put a little bit of parsley maybe. Let's put a little parsley on there. Put a little bit of parsley on top. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. So now we put our tagine lid right on top. And we put the whole pot in the oven. We turn the oven to 300. You don't cook anywhere higher than 325 Fahrenheit in a tagine. Um, otherwise you risk cracking your pot. So I'm going to put it in a cold oven, turn the oven to 300, let the whole thing go for four hours. So let's do that. Okay. And there we are in the oven. So we're going to turn it to 300 and let everything come up to temperature together. So we'll be back in a while and we'll work on this. All right, get your butter melting in your saucepan and then get your onions. Get them in there, start to get them caramelized. Onions will make a nice rich gravy. Really, really yummy. <clears throat> so I'll let those go. They're going to take a while, so. All right, what we have here is two packages of gravy mix. Um, it calls for one cup of water per uh, package. But I used one and a half cups of water only for two packages because the tagine uh, calls for less liquid. So we have this, these two packages mixed up in one and a half cups of water. You can actually use prepared gravy in a, in a jar, whatever you feel like doing. We have our uh, caramelized onions right there. They're really cranking it out. We're going to pour our brown gravy in there. Beautiful. Oh, yummy. And we're going to whisk it a little bit. Whisk it a little. We're put our gravy over. We're going to give it another 45 minutes or so. Put our lid back on. Our tagine lid back on. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, look at that. It smells amazing. And look how brown the, um, the, the little 
cube steak rolls are. They look so good. And the gravy's on there. The carrots, the potatoes, just beautiful. So I would say that that was a very, very good uh, first try, first attempt in the tagine. I really, really like it. And uh, like I said, what you would do is eat this with a um, with a Moroccan flatbread. And all I have is some um, tortillas, which I'm going to heat up and break, rip off, and just pick it up with that. So uh, beautiful, it smells amazing. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Make this in a slow cooker or crock pot um, if you don't have a tagine. I follow the exact directions and uh, the same thing that I did four hours on um, high, eight hours on low, come out the same way. So I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. I love you all. Talk to you very, very soon. Happy, happy cooking.